Don't you just hate when you do your hair and like your bones are uneven? Oh, your girl is a model. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's say that. And then we need to go to Instagram. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Kiera Chanel. K E Y E R R A C H A N E L. Not number one, five, but number one. Look like me, even though his daddy look good as fuck. Okay, y'all, y'all are gonna see me doing that, but I'm not about to redo it. I might have to lean my hair like this, you know, a little bit. Ooh, that girl fine. Okay, y'all, what's up? It's your girl Kiera Chanel back with another video on my youtube channel if this is your first time on my channel hello welcome what's up it's your girl kiera chanel formerly known as the girl from galaxy 444 mermaid or whatever you know me by um make sure you follow me on my instagram at kiera chanel it is private so if i don't approve you just be just like DM me and be like YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Let me know you from my YouTube. Cause I don't be letting everybody follow me because people be in my business or whatever. Excuse me. You in my business? What? Yeah, don't do that. But y'all know how that go. But you can always follow me on Raw Truth R A A W T R U T H. That is my my Instagram where I mostly talk about my dreams of me opening a school which i will be educating y'all on on here i have a live on my facebook that i try to put on to my youtube i'm not sure how to do that yet but i'm hopping gems at basically on what's going on in my mind what i want to do with my school so that's that and my other instagram is mermaid's treasure box as one word on that page is where you'll find everything beauty everything for the girls um i have lashes on hand i don't know if you can see that um different styles of lashes um i'm wearing my own lashes i don't really wear nobody else lashes check out my mermaidstreasurebox.com my website I'll put that up here as well so you guys can see that. Um, I sell virgin hair wigs and bundle deals. So what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of your girl, Kier Chanel. Um, I'm super excited. I have a video of when I got the test results and stuff. So, um, You know, just my overall journey of being pregnant has been a blessing. I can't even complain. Like, oh, I don't know. I might do Let's see how the birth go, but, you know, thus far, I could do this again, you know. I have a group on Facebook also called Pretty and Pregnant. It is a private group of, um, obviously pregnant women. Um, if you guys want to join that, if y'all pregnant or if y'all are moms already, you can join because we're basically all new moms. There are some moms in there who have had probably like two kids already or have kids already who give us new moms advice because we ask questions we share our experiences in there but it was a few of my friends like like at least six of us pregnant at the same time or like you know finding out around the same time or announcing it in the same time because I didn't announce my pregnancy as soon as I found out. I was kind of like so shocked that I still was in disbelief. So I kept it to myself uh, for a while. I literally didn't reveal my pregnancy to the world 
social media um, until my gender reveal. And I have that video as well. Let me know if y'all want to see my gender reveal. My reaction is so funny because me and my baby daddy just knew we was having a daughter. Okay. We were dressed in our pink and black. Everybody, we all, we been knew it was a girl. We gonna, we gonna just tell them we knew. Girl, I popped that popper. And it was a popper. You feel me? Um, that was funny. My gender reveal was funny. And it was very nice. We had a lot of nice park uh, in Conroe, Texas. I can show y'all a little clip of that. As well. I just vlogged everything. and Because I, I always knew I was coming back to YouTube. And I always knew that I would share my journey with you guys. So I'm just super excited. Uh, let's get into this video. How about that? I'm just talking at this point. I'm so excited. Because I look cute. I'm there. I was on here. Uh, if you're following my vlog. I um, know that I had a busy day on Saturday. I went to my birthing dance class uh, at the Heart of Houston Birth Center. Link all the, the, the details in the description box below with Miss Joanna V. I don't know how to say her last name, but she knows who she is. Shout out to her. She was super fun. She was always super fun. Uh, dance class, I was the only one that showed up, so it was like the universe had planned for me to have my one-on-one -on -one dance class, which I really appreciated. Because I'm a new vlogger, so I gotta learn what side to put stuff on. Um, so let's see what's in here. It's a, like, $3 off. It says $3 off any mother love item. $3 off. Any of those items. Shout out to my nail tape. I'm going to tag, tag her too, y'all. Um, Mother Love, More Milk Plus. Like, this kind of like supplement. Nipple cream, stuff like that. And it's, it's going to expire before the new year. So, if I'm going to use it, I need to use it now. And then it came with a sticker. Because everyone lived today. Good job. Oh, right? We all need to. We all want to live the box and just show you guys those are the the, uh, the cards I just showed y'all but I'm gonna lift it up and show you guys so y'all can see what it's like I got this cute little frilly paper in here this is by Her, Her Bloom Company it says relief and recovery foam cooling relief for swollen and irritated perineum tissue oh how to heal cleanse the affected area with the peri bottle and warm water i got that um then add a layer of foam on a new pad or liner for cooling pain relief oh this is going to be good for my postpartum and that's what i was like mainly I, that's another reason why i picked this because she did allow us to open the gift uh it's not like it was taped or anything so kind of like see what we wanted in my i'm i'm like Having a baby is one thing, but that damn postpartum, everybody keeps telling me, like, girl, that's a whole other thing. They call it the fourth trimester. So I'm also preparing for my fourth trimester, which is another reason why I chose this gift. It says, thank you, bottle opener. Oh, a bottle opener. I haven't, I'm not really a big drinker. A bottle opener. Like a wine bottle opener, not the bottle, baby bottle. Okay, that's for mom. I'm not a big, big drinker, but I do want to kind of have some wine after the fact. Um, mostly Stella Rose. I hope it still tastes the same. Because I'm not a, like a big liquor person. Oh, Perry Oil. I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay, Perry Oil. Okay. Perry Oil is infused infused massage oil to support tissue elasticity during childbirth oh i need to put this on i need to put this in my hospital bag oh maybe i can show y'all what's in my hospital bag on this vlog too no i didn't even think of that and it says it shows it shows what's in it it's i don't know how to pronounce that but i'm gonna spell it b-o-b-a-b Oil, olive oil, and lang lang. <laughs> I like that lang lang. <laughs> How to prepare. Um, 
release approximately two drops of peri oil and gently massage your perineum daily in a lateral and semicircular motion. I can read y'all. I just didn't know what the word is. La no, in a lateral. In a lateral and semicircular motion. And no, I don't need glasses. The girl got her eyes checked during this pregnancy. She said, you got 20-20 vision. I said, I know. <laughs> okay, I'm goofy. And the last thing is, I think this is a birthing gown. Um, I haven't, y'all can see it's still taped. I haven't taken it out. love that feeling of opening stuff oh it's like the best feeling let's see what this look like we just got some springs on it it's itchy um, i'm not gonna lie i don't know what's the top and what's the bottom mm. Okay, this must be the top. I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm so lost. Um, unless it's a halter top. Is it a halter? Oh, girl, this is sexy. I might have to wear this. Oh, my back gonna be out. Bow, bow, bow. See, that's how I got pregnant. And I also put some, like, uh, in my birthing book, water birth tips about what to do. Stay active, you know, just trying to do the best I can. I have birthing affirmations. <laughs> My mind is calm and relaxed now. My baby will be with me soon. I am prepared to deliver a prince. I am a queen in my body and baby is healthy. I am ready to birth my prince. My labor and delivery is successful. My body knows how to birth my baby. And then I came up with like the baby shower games and my labor checklist, my bag, like everything I want to put in my bag or just like, you know, have for labor. Newborn baby must have. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That's all I wrote in here. My birth plan. Uh, I actually sat down and wrote out literally everything. Uh, I want my birth plan to go. So basically, I'm gonna just sum it up for y'all. Basically, I plan on having a water birth. I plan on not having an epidural or any kind of drugs administered for pain. Um, it is my desire to have a natural birth. If something does go wrong to harm the baby or myself, yeah. oh, excuse me, please give me a C-section. And I really don't want a C-section, so I haven't focused on it. I'm manifesting this water birth. I've been watching uh midwife angela angelina midwife angelina on on instagram she has an awesome page she doesn't uh, she's i'm not like sponsored to say anything about her or anything like that but she just a page that i've been following since i've been pregnant that has inspired me to definitely want to have a water birth uh because you know when you tell somebody you having a baby naturally they blow like, Oh, girl, you crazy. Give me the epidural. I don't see how you're going to do it. Da, 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 da. So don't let nobody discourage you. Yeah. A lot of people will try to discourage you uh, out of having a baby naturally. Girl, boo, do what's best for you because I, I want this experience to be my own. I don't want to say, oh, well, I did it this way because my friend did it this way or my mom did it this way or whomever like I don't know this is my experiences my experience and I'm choosing to take charge of how I want to have my baby so that's my birth plan I wishes uh the reason why I chose to do a natural birth uh, because 
I wanted to connect myself with the experience as much as possible. To me, when people get epidurals, they always be like, girl, I didn't feel nothing. I couldn't feel my legs. They had to wake me up and tell me when to push. Like, you're not connected with it, you know? And you, I feel like it might be good because you, you know, you don't feel the pain. Um, but I'm okay with that. You know, I'm okay with, you know, connecting with my experience. So that's why I chose the water birth. Um... I always thought water births were beautiful. I'm a water person, mermaid, hello. Uh, so I've always thought that, you know, that was always my plan. Even before I got pregnant, I knew I was gonna have a water birth. So uh, there was nothing else to me but to do it. Three, another reason why I chose to have my baby at a uh, birthing center is because you have more control over what happens to your baby, with your baby, after birth. Now, when you're in a hospital, normally you're not in control of nothing. Like, they going to do everything because you're just another patient to them. they going to, you know, probably have you laying on your back, which is stupid to me um, because uh, you're defying gravity. Like, the baby, you know, struggling, getting out, and you probably tearing, and oh, Lord. You know, it's just like a bunch of stuff that I personally don't want. Um, and then I heard that they're like making mama's labor with mask on. And even if you don't have COVID, they're testing your babies for COVID in the hospital. Like, can you imagine that? Your baby has been safe and found in your womb for nine months. And then coming out and somebody freaking giving him vaccines and also shoving something up his nose. Oh, uh, I'd be ready to fight. So... At a birthing center, you have more control. Everything is more natural. You get to choose what happens with their baby life. I ordered from her three things. I ordered her rights over my birth package, which I'll go over with you guys. Not the whole thing, but just kind of like let you know what it is and why I got it. I guess I'll do that first because I just talked about the hospital. So basically, I purchased her rights over my birth package because if I have to go to the hospital, I still want to be protected. I do not want them taking my child to the back to go weigh him and to go do all these tests. And I have the right to refuse any vaccines, which I'm going to do if I have to go to a hospital. And no extra testing, no COVID testing. They can't force me to labor uh, in on my back or with a, uh, a mask on. Or they can't tell me that, uh, you know, I can't record my birth. Because these are all things that have happened, happened to mamas who did not know their right. Uh, so I, pur I purchased her package. And, of course, all, everything is going to be in the description box below where you guys can purchase it for yourself or at least see the testimonials of the mamas who didn't have it in their experience and mamas who had it in their experience. So, not even if I don't go to the hospital, I'll, I'll just have it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I purchased it for 150 bucks, And you have to get it notarized by... Oh, Lord. You have to get it notarized. You have to get it notarized uh, by a Secretary of State member before labor. So I made sure I did that as soon as I got it because you never know when I was going when I'm gonna go into labor. So I just wanted to have that ready. Um, and yeah, you guys, I'm gonna link her stuff up here. Uh, her page. Um, not only did I purchase her rights over my birth package, I purchased two more items from her. That's all that's in here. So, I purchased, uh, some sea moss from her. What is purple sea moss? And this beautiful purple sea moss is a type of red algae found in tropical waters off the coast of Jamaica, St. Lucia, Guana, 
Hispaniola and parts of Southeast Asia. It is considered one of the most nutrient dense and mineral rich superfoods on the planet. Our sacred moss is 100% raw and ethically harvested from the shores of Jamaica. The moss is then sun dried and gently packaged by yours truly. This anti inflammatory, anti aging, antibacterial, and anti viral aquatic plant is brimming with 92 out of the 102 minerals that are essential for optimal body function, homeostasis. My sacred moss is an excellent source of folate. I hope I said that right. F O L A T E. Folate is a key factor during fetal growth. It is also high in iodine, a mineral known to aid in the development of normal breast tissue, better breast milk. It also supports thyroid function, metabolism, regulation, bone growth, and brain development during pregnancy, among many other important functions that sustain the human body. Sacred moss is high in immune-boosting nutrients like iron and protein. It also contains vitamins and minerals like magnesium, mang manganese, bromine, selenium, pectin, vitamin A, vitamin K, vitamin B, vitamin C, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, omega-3 fatty acids, beta carotene, and chromium and zinc. So, yeah, you guys, she gave me this sea moss. It has instructions on it. It tells me it's 30 to 40 grams. I have to use spring water for washing, soaking, and mixing. And this is her packaging of the sacred moss right here. I also bought a wrap from her, but the video skipped. Dermaplast. I don't know if you guys can see that really good. Dermaplast. It says pain, burn, and itch. Minor cuts, scrapes, burns, sunburns, and bug bug bites. Uh, I heard that you can just spray the cooch with this. You know what I'm saying? And it's supposed to like cool it off, like a uh, you know cool air. Uh, nipple butter. Um, this is supposed to be for like. Apply after each feeding or as needed. Feel free to slather liberally on flanges for more comfy pumping. We also have been known to slather it on things like lips. Sometimes we call it lipo butter or cuticle. And we just call it an earth mama manicure or heels. Okay, so you can put this on whatever I guess. Like, <laughs> you can put it on your ankles if you need to. Uh... Wherever dry skin happens, really. Oh, okay. Also heard that you can, like, put breast milk on your cracked nipple uh, for healing. And I'm trying to do everything, like, natural. Y'all know that. So, I mean, but that's why I bought the nipple butter in case that don't work. You know what I mean? Uh, also, the same person who sold me the sacred moss and the belly wrap, she has an Amazon, I will link that below, um, where she has like her, uh, like all these different things you can buy for pregnancy and vitamins and stuff. And I got this off of her Amazon list, basically to kind of like, it, uh, it's an all natural mineral that can help detoxify your body. Zeolite is negatively charged by nature, which means that it can help attract toxins like a magnet a unique cage-like structure helps track trap toxins and carry them out of the body so yeah after i'm pregnant after the baby is out you use as a daily detoxifier to and to alkalize your body take one scoop drink plenty of fluids while drinking this product since everybody's body and circumstances are different please consult with your health practitioner to determine the optimal amount to support your healthy body. This pure powder does not dissolve if mixing in liquid, stir it up and drink quickly. Can be taken with or without food. I wonder if it's gonna make me poop. 
Anyway. And I bought a few things for my baby. So since I'm like not getting the uh, like vitamin K uh, vaccine that they have at the hospital or vitamin D or like any of their vaccines. I'm not getting them. I bought them off of Amazon. I bought them vitamin K, vitamin D. I bought them myself and I will give them to my own baby because I'm his mom. And yeah, you know, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was like hella long. Uh, I really enjoy talking to you guys. I'm getting more comfortable with the cameras. I just bought a camera on random, so sorry if it's not the best quality. Not yet, but you know, I can get a better quality camera if you guys like and subscribe and share my video. So I can, uh, you know, get some coins to get another camera and share my uh, experiences with you guys. Once again, comment below if you want to see more or what do you want to see about my birth pregnancy journey. Because, you know, your girl is uh, 37 weeks. 19 days until my baby's due date.